Um, our next presenter, Yin Liu, is a recent graduate of MLA. She received her BA in English and a double degree in journalism from Central China Normal University and Wuhan University in China. She was admitted to the MLA in 2012, right after she graduated from college. Her concentration is public culture and consists of coursework in anthropology, sociology, and art history, focused upon art, culture, and communication in the public sphere. As an international student from China, she works hard on adapting herself to both study and life here in America. Interested in museums, Yin Liu became a collection management intern at the Penn Museum last summer and worked there as a volunteer uh, to this day. The Penn Museum inspired her to do a capstone project focusing on museum collections and social media. She currently works part-time as a registrar assistant at the Penn Museum. She'll now share with us part of her capstone, Social Media and Museum Collections, Digital Representation of Native American Collections from the Penn Museum. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Pastor. So good evening, everyone. My name is In Liu, and tonight I'm going to talk about my capstone project, social media and museum collections, digital representation of Native American um, collections from the Penn Museum. I feel extremely honored to be one of the presenters because last year I was here in the audience and I was, think, um, I was thinking how I wish I could be here next time. And now here I am, it's like a dream come true, so I'm really excited. Um, before getting into my project, I want to talk a little about how I came up with the topic social media and museums and how previous MLA courses helped me in this project because I believe it is very important for us MLA students to really tailor our curriculum in order to achieve our goals. Being always very interested in cultural anthropology, I realized that I wanted to pursue a museum career in my second semester of the MLA program. To begin with, I wanted my capstone to be museum related because it would be a good foundation for my future career and study. The MLA capstone need to be interdisciplinary, so I thought I should combine museum studies with something I am interested in and use regularly, which is social media. Social media studies are, is a ra rather new f field, but I have some basic knowledge in communications from my undergraduate education and my regular use of social media inspired me to investigate a connection between museums and these technological communication tools. I have completed nine courses, including two anthropology courses in the first three semester of my MLA program and started my capstone in the fourth semester, which is this spring 2014. And Performing Culture, Native American Art was the course in which I met Professor Margaret Boucher, who became my first reader for this project. In this class, I experienced the fascinating art and culture of Native Americans for the first time. And more importantly, I gained insights about the concept of performance that has become the major inspiration of this project. Performing culture is not only about how Native people are dancing and singing on the stage, but also concerns people's everyday behavior, such as communicating and interacting with each other. Social media as an important significant platform where people communicate has been largely influencing the way people chose to appear and perform in front of others. Hence, social media representations of Native Americans are extremely useful in shaping people's understanding of Native Americans and making Native voices heard. I chose to study the Penn Museum's new Native American exhibition because I found out about it through Instagram, one of my favorite social networks. <laughs> so this is the screenshot of my uh, the particular post from which I learned about the exhibition. Uh, while performing culture is the most relevant course to this capstone, other courses play significant roles in forming my knowledge system as well. For example, cultural media and society in the first semester with a sociology course based on consumer culture and communication. It enhanced my knowledge in marketing and public relations which is used in analyzing the uses of social media in this project. 
art courses such as Big Pictures, Mural Arts in Philadelphia, and Early Modern Theories uh, contributes to my knowledge of museums and public art as well. Um, so this project examines some of the transformations in the ways that museums communicate and interact with their audiences due to the rise of the internet and social media and focuses on the use of social media in creating innovative representations of Native American collections in museums. With an interesting increasing number of people acquiring information through social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, museums are using public electronic media and social accounts more and more frequently to promote exhibition forecasts, announcements of activities, and notes on featured collections. As a bridge between museums and audiences, social media provides a way for more intense and frequent audience participation, enables visitors direct dialogue with the museums. Unlike traditional mass media and TV, museum social media can use people who have unique levels of authority in the field to represent Native Americans, educate its audiences, and ultimately fight against stereotypes. So social media has the potential to become a learning vehicle. Thus, studying social media representation can better serve the needs of audiences, especially those who cannot come to the museum in person. Social media platforms also provide an opportunity for museums to have immediate interactions and conversations with the audience. It enables conversations to take place outside the physical site of museums by allowing museum staff to see more visitors' feedback from their tweets, comments, replies, and dialogues. Utilizing social media in marketing and, and publicity is a trend for all museums, and museum social network accounts are starting to follow and link with each other. Therefore, social media contributes to the exchange of communication between different museums. Additionally, using social media to represent Native Americans is significant because social media creates an online community where Native people can exchange ideas. Then in the community, people learn to be equipped with more knowledge and resources that can actually help when they speak out to defend themselves. Hence, the ultimate goal of challenging white privilege, colonialism, and power can be achieved. Moreover, there are too many stereotypical representations out there. Those images are not only problematic, baffling, and offending to Native communities, but also causing misunderstanding among non-Native people. Museums as educational institutions are not only safe places for Native American objects, but are also responsible to promote Native American people and their culture with the help of professional anthropologists. Using social media, museums are capable of spreading appropriate images to the public. Facebook is the go-to social media for most museums because it has more features than any other social networks, making it the most well-rounded social media to advertise, announce, and interact. Twitter is generally used by younger group of people, but not exclusively. The recent introdu introduction of hashtag, which is this sign to Twitter, allows users to participate in discussion about current events and future exhibitions. In addition, museums are keen to connect audiences through visual images. YouTube, Flickr, Instagram, and Pinterest are the major examples. So each of the different social networks has distinct features and functions. The modes in which social media can be used in publicity include the following. One, creating events such as opening up a new show, a lecture, or family activities that allow people to come to the museum and participate. Two, posting photos of objects featured in a particular exhibit or persons who work with the exhibition to promote the show and spread knowledge and information concerning a specific object or exhibition. Three, posting contents that are related to the occasion of the day. For example, art museums always um, post a painting of an artist on his or her birthday. Four, 
updating contents on a regular basis within themed objects. Now that we know what museums are generally doing with their social media, we can move on to the case study, which is the study of Native American voices, the people here and now. Uh, anyway, this, this show is a new five-year exhibition that opened on March 1st, 2014. Over 200 objects from the museum's North American collections are on view. Um, through old and new objects, videos, and audio recordings, and digital interactive opportunities, this exhibition allows visitors to develop a new understanding of the contemporary Native Americans. There are 12 touch screen displays corresponding to each of the display cases. Located at both ends of the gallery, four large touch screen multimedia towers are installed. In the center of the gallery, visitors can sit around a digital log fire created by the projector on the ceiling and listen to today's native people's voices. These interactive displays enable viewers to sort objects by tribe, region, or by the show's four themes with massive information including detailed photos, tribal maps, and articles written by Native American consultants. Through them, the exhibition becomes a self-guided experience. So we can see here local nations, sacred places, continuing celebrations, and new in initiatives are the four themes of the um, new show of Native American Voices. And um, the major publicity for the exhibit on Facebook appeared a month in advance of the opening date, which is Mar March uh, 1st. Native American Voices opened on a Sunday, so for each Sunday before it opened, um, an image of Native people who are participant in planning the exhibition was posted on Facebook. So here uh, is a screenshot of one of the posts. Um, this shows Native American advisor, whose name is Patty Telehomba. She's a Hopi journalist, and beneath her is the quote from her. And those posts received a total of 109 audiences engagements, including a number of likes, comments, and shares. Each photo was an up-close capture of the Native advisor's face with a quote from them. The images were big and strong, taking twice the usual space of a post. They are different from a traditional advertisement of a coming exhibit because the photos are about people instead of objects. Such an approach indicates that the show is to highlight Native people today. Just as the exhibition title says, it is about the people here and now. On Instagram, six behind the scenes photos of Native American voices can be found including the photos of testing the multimedia station, cons conservation and preparation of the objects, staff who work on the installation, and so on. These images have gained a total of 152 likes. On YouTube, Penn Museum uploaded a playlist of five videos named Native American Voices, The People Here and Now in January 2014. Each video lasting no more than eight minutes long deals with the important themes that frame the exhibit. The videos have been viewed and liked 4,655 times, and they're also available to be viewed on the media towers in the gallery. So in conclusion, the videos, images, and words posted on the Penn Museum social media are well-rounded, well-arranged time-wise, culturally appropriate in their use of native images and representations, and well-rounded with multimedia and various techniques utilized. Most importantly, the central vision of the show, which is Native people speaking for and about themselves, is given plenty of attention. Then the exhibit was designed to educate people who have less knowledge about Native Americans. As one of the Native advisors of the exhibit pointed out, Social media is a helpful way to spread information throughout Indian country, yet it does a better and more important job to inform the general public. And that is why the equipment, especially the multimedia stations in the exhibition, is going to be adjusted to meet various audiences' needs. 
For example, some people are very eager to take advantage of new technology. Some others do not realize that they can scroll down the screens of the multimedia tower and choose a video to watch. So incorporating technology in exhibitions is a trend that museum staff and me personally hope that eventually be accepted by a wider range of audience. With that being said, uh, that concludes my capstone project. I learned a, a great deal while working on it, not only about um, Native Americans Museum and social media, but also about how to utilize and organize information. I even gained experience while I'm interviewing the museum personnel, and I really want to extend my sincere gratitude to all of them, especially Professor Pastor, and also thank you so much for coming tonight. It means a lot to me, and thank you so much. I wish you a very good evening.